What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to a horrible rainy day in London. To be fair, the last few days it's been just the same like now. Disgusting weather to drive. In this video, I want to ask you guys, is it time to sell one car and switch it for something else? When I say sell, I mean replace a car. So right now we have the C63 and the CLA45, which I'm driving right now, which is perfect for this weather. I mean, the other car, to be honest, is not so nice to drive in this weather. And this is what I want to talk about because obviously these two cars are completely different cars. Like this car is a perfect daily, um, especially in days like today, this weather. And uh, the other car is, is, is completely different. The other car is, is obviously a V8. It's more powerful. Um, it is a lot more comfortable than this car. Um, this car is not so comfortable. It's not terrible to be fair. I can live with this, but I only really feel it. I mean, like, let's put it this way. When I bought this car, I was quite happy with... Why are people hooting? Where this horrible roundabout where you basically have to wait a few minutes until you get opportunity to go. Um, so if I'm looking that way all the time, excuse me, I'm just trying to get that. Let's just go now. This is what I'm talking about. The car is just, the formatic is just lovely. Pouring rain out of that mess of puddles. I can still floor it, no problems, no traction problems. And this is why I love driving this car in days like today. But as I was saying, when I bought this car first, I wasn't, you know, I didn't have a problem with the comfort. I knew it's going to be a little bit rough. Obviously, it's AMG, but the biggest time I really noticed that comfort difference is when I go into the C63 and I think, wow, that car is really a comfortable car. It's like luxurious with performance. This, on the other hand, is more rough. Um, so, obviously, as I said, they're completely two different cars and... Um, the reason why I'm asking is it time to replace something is I don't know guys I, I just feel I don't feel bold because I really don't want to replace them but I think maybe I should maybe just to spice things up a little bit um, not to say that I'm bored from these cars but sometimes I just feel like I want something a bit um, so, I don't know I just want to change and yeah this is crazy guys you know people think that if they have this car, they'll be happy in their life. Or if you make X amount of money, I know this is off topic, but this is just like a serious problem that people have. And I think this is just human nature. You know, people will never be happy. It's not like I'm really happy with what I have. Don't get me wrong. I'm not here saying I'm not happy. I love the cars and I appreciate, well, I feel lucky to own these cars let me say that and no one gave them to me i did work for it but in the end of the day is i'm fortunate enough to own these cars you know i know many people have dreams to own cars like that and including myself i did have dreams but i made it happen so going a bit off topic here but yeah people always want more you know when you get your dream car uh you're happy for a couple of months and then you're like what's next you know when you smash a goal you have you do that and then you ask yourself what's next you buy yourself that thing you always wanted and then you ask yourself what's next so that's basically what i'm talking about Ooh, we've got a skip lorry in the front of us and half of the things are falling out so i really don't want to be next to it check this out So, not Asheville, uh, it's coming into my lane. I really don't want to be behind this. Oh, thank you. He realized. He realized. He stopped and uh, he's probably going to cover it up. He didn't have a cover on this skip, so yeah, all you need is one piece of rubbish to fall out on this 50 miles an hour road, and that's it. Game over. So, yeah, anyways. So, as I was saying, guys, is it time to replace one car? Now, there's one car particularly I really want to get and that's a car basically a dream car for most people and by no surprise that's an E46 M3 I'm really serious I want to get one of them guys a manual and um, I know it's completely different cars what I have now and uh, you know compared to the modern 
more modern cars and that's like a proper old-fashioned car but I really want to have one in my life and I've seen a few online which are reasonably well when I say reasonably I remember those cars were a couple of grand back in the days you know like five six years ago obviously they're appreciated and gone up in value so prices have come up but I've seen a few online what I think they are fairly decent priced and um, I don't know guys I'm thinking maybe to get one of them the question is do I need that and those two cars of course not but <laughs> I don't want to sell really a car because I love all of my cars you know for me the C63 is just my it's just my comfort all-around great car this car on the other hand is just like the perfect daily you know I just love driving this car you know the other day I was driving around the same weather as this and you know I just this car is just like it's another level you can just take it out on bends floor it all the way down and you feel so confident on the other hand my C63 I wouldn't even try half throttle because that car is known as a power slider so if I would do that I'll be sliding all over the place probably end up in a one of these uh, edges here edges or motorway barriers whatever you want to call them but this car is just you know that car I can't enjoy as much as this I'm not gonna lie you know I'm not a pro racing driver um, I'm not a rubbish driver but it's just very very hard to enjoy that car to the limits um, especially in roads like those obviously not you know as I said the only time I really enjoyed this car was on my road trips where I've done some good miles but obviously in the summertime but obviously you don't really get that opportunities I don't get those opportunities very often so I barely get a chance to really enjoy the performance however even on slow driving I love driving that car because it sounds so good you know that V8 rumble sounds so good when you drive slow plus the comfort the looks the road presence so that's like something I just love about that car and so this is where I am at guys let me know what you think or what you would do or what's sensible to do because I don't think I need three cars I think that's a bit over you know overdoing it to me especially like I'm not really making money from my car YouTube thing it's just a passion of mine that I do in the side I don't make money out of those videos I mean the, the money those videos do make don't cover like 5% of my cars expenses you know so um, it's not like those youtubers that have big car collections and do it as a work as a business I'm not that you know you can't compare me to them so I'm not in that level so yeah let me know what you guys think and let me know in the comments below please give this video a like and guys if you really want to help my channel grow it doesn't cost you a penny it doesn't cost you anything other than a half second of your time just subscribe and like and guys I'll see you on my next video bye now